Congresswoman Jen Kiggins, Republican from Virginia. Good morning, Congresswoman. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. If I have it correct, you were there at the border in February, right? Tell us what you saw on the ground at the southern border and also what you expect will happen now that Title 42 is expiring in less than 48 hours. Yeah, so that was my second trip to the border. I went last year as well, and then I went in February with Speaker McCarthy and a group of freshmen, and we spoke to the people that live there, right, the people that work there. We spoke to Border Patrol. We spoke to law enforcement. We spoke to ranchers and business owners and families, and, and it's a crisis on really all levels. It's a border crisis. It's a national security crisis. It's a humanitarian crisis. Just listening to those stories and understanding uh, their challenges, what they were in February. I mean, we've had a million people come across the border from October till now, so Right. It's truly, it, the numbers are ridiculous. And uh, I, I'm worried it's a little bit too little, too late uh, that we've done. We do have the bill coming up this week, HR2, which is, again, the Republicans leading by example, demonstrating you know our ideas and what we would like to see put in place in order to stop that influx at the border. Yeah, and, and I want to get that to in just a minute. But as you said, you know the numbers are out of control. I mean, in just the past recent days, it's 8,800 daily encounters at this point, let alone what tomorrow or Friday has in store. When you were there, what was the overall reaction or greatest concern from Border Patrol officers and agents in that corridor? What did they ask you for specifically? Yeah, well, th there's too few of them, right? They need more support. So one of the things they ask for is to complete the wall. That's an easy thing to do, right? We see the wall in segments. We know that parts of the wall that were not complete when Joe Biden came to office and he, and he, and he put that stop work order in, those parts of the wall, including security cameras and lighting, are now put in storage that taxpayers are paying for. We've got to get those parts out of the wall and, and put some funding towards completing that project. It's an easy thing to do. The Border Patrol also needs more personnel, right? How can we be supportive of them? That's one thing that HR2 uh, has in it, 22,000 more Border Patrol agents. How can we support those guys just with ease their hiring process, be supporting things like bonuses for them, uh, you know, making sure they have the resources that they need, and supporting local law enforcement, too. It's a team effort down there, uh, really by those border communities who are who are hit the hardest and who are suffering and who are watching this influx of thousands of people that are lined up on the Every other side of the border day. just waiting. Yeah, every day, every single day. Back to that border security package that you mentioned that I want to get to. Uh, it's expected to come to the, the floor tomor tomorrow. From talking to your colleague, colleagues, I mean, what's the likelihood that this actually passes? And what are you most uh, looking forward to if it does? Yeah, so I think that the chances of it passing are very high. Republicans have the majority in the House, and this is something that most of us campaigned off of. We've been highlighting for years now, ever since Joe Biden took office. And uh, we're leading by example again in the House. And this is what Republican leadership looks like. We've placed a, a priority on, on border security, whereas the Democrats have not. So this is their opportunity, really, to get on board with what Republican leadership looks like, because the country's watching, too. And we have elections, you know, coming up next year. So I, I need Americans to understand that Republicans have been fo focused on border security. This is our opportunity, again, to get a piece of legislation passed that does things that that uh, puts words into actions like right. completing the wall supporting our border security providing for transparency and the numbers of people coming across the border but we are getting things done in the house and then you know the Senate should get on board and hopefully President Biden as well well I know all eyes are on title 42 this week that's for sure and congresswoman I, I couldn't let you go without saying it is national nurses week I know you are a nurse practitioner yourself um, First of all, thank you. I mean, what an incredible, admirable job. Do you have any parting words that you would like to say in regards to, to nursing and, and, and that profession for those who do it across the country? Absolutely. Absolutely. Happy National Nurses Week to all of my fellow nurses and colleagues out there. As a geriatric nurse practitioner, it's been a great privilege just to partner with families and caregivers and patients to provide care for me to our greatest generation. But nurses are some of the most hardest working people out there. We know that they've uh, they've gone through a lot with COVID. So I just, you know, from the bottom of my heart, sincere appreciation for them. It's, I'm proud to be an advocate and a voice for them here in Congress. We need more nurses up here representing our great profession. Yes, we do. Um, I am inspired by you. I don't know how you juggle it all. Congresswoman Jen Kiggins, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.